Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday and it is that day of the week again where we have to go and do the food shop. This month I have decided to do something totally different and I've decided to challenge myself to only shop once a month, which is sort of yesterday and today I did both um, shops. And what I've done is I've taken my weekly allowance, which I allow myself in my budget, 130 euros um, a week to shop. Now, I'm a mum to three children, but my children are all over the age of 16. So they eat like adults. So it's four adults on a budget of 130 euro a week. Now, bear with me for a second. I did work this out. So 130, oh sorry, 130 a week is roughly 120 pounds sterling or 155 US dollars. So that's what I allow myself a week for the four adults in the house to eat. So I did a shop. I took, so I'm doing it for four weeks. So I'm doing it from today, which is the do you know what date it is? Might be the 13th, 14th of October through to the 11th of November. So I took my month's budget, which was 520 euros, and I did a month shop. Now, having done that, um, I'm not actually sure the total cost of the shops, but whatever is left, I will then divide it, and that will be the amount I have left. For, sorry, my ears off of red. Look at that. Ooh, someone's talking about me. Whatever I have left, I will take it. I'll divide it in four, and that'll be how much I have then left a week to spend on fresh fruit, fresh fruit, veg, bread, things like that. Now, the one thing that won't be included in the shop is milk or eggs, because I have a milkman and he's on a total separate budget, and he comes twice a week. So, before anybody says you've no milk or anything in that, I know that um, he, as I said, he delivers it and he comes on a Sunday night and a Thursday evening. Right, so let's get into this. At the end, I'll tell you the totals of all the shops together and I'll also tell you how much then I am left with to spend each week for the next four weeks. Okay, so this is my Aldi order. I mean, it's quite a big order. And I actually got some of them as well. They're for the fire. These down here are cozy fire and you put them in your open fire and they burn for, I think three hours, up to three hours. I'm telling you that now because I know by the end of this, I'll have forgotten about them because they're on the floor. Okay, so we'll start with the frozen stuff. So as you know, ice cream favorites in our house. So this is the Neapolitan wafers. We got the four mini cups, which is chocolate, strawberry, chewy caramel and cookie dough. I got the polar bar, which is like icebergs, Aldi's own. And I got 12 of the mini ice cream cones and they are mini. Put a bit of light on the subject, how about that? So then starting here at the front, we got two halloumi burgers to try. Hayley likes that cheese, so it'll be interesting for her. We got four steak burgers. These are the steak quarter pounders. And these are actually for a meal I'm cooking in the slow cooker. I got two packs of these pizza subs. The kids like these when they come in for their tea. And we got... The Adams Family Creepy Cream Pies, and that's marshmallow in the middle. What's on top? Dipped in a orange chocolate flavoured coating. Okay. So then here I've got the Rocky Road Mini Bites. And under here we have got the Honeycomb Crunch Mini Bites. We got two packs of these Titan Bars there. The rip off the, the copy of the Mars bars and we got the Choco Break which is the copycats of the Kit Kats and I got two of them two of them 
throw it away. Then here we got the wacko bars with caramel and the wacko bar chocolate. So then starting at the back here, we've got eight white dinner rolls. They're the ones that you bake yourself at home. I think they're like 10 minutes in an oven and they're done. Then we got the chocolate waffles. We got Grania's Bakery Rich Fruit Loaf and that's pre-sliced. That's really nice. I like that. I like that in the morning toasted. It's really, really nice. Okay. So then we have some brioche buns to go with our burgers. We got these little snacks. This is the strawberry one and that's the milk chocolate one. And these are very like the kinder ones that you keep in your fridge. We got a ripple Swiss cake. So I start here at the back then. Finish off the junk. So this is the same as the, what you call them? Rice crispy squares. And that's chocolate and caramel. And we also got the chocolate flavoured. So two of each again. Then we got these. These are the street kitchen. And that's a cheese and ham. And it is gorgeous. I do them in the air fryer. And they're beautiful. Really, really nice. And we got a breakfast one as well. I mean, there you can see there, there's sausage, everything in them. They're really, really tasty. And they're nice for a quick snack. So then we got some flavoured of the snack cheese. And they are three with onion and three with chilli. We got two packets of them. Back here I got some, I know this is going to be bold, but this is a energy drink and it's called Dark Thunder. It's the same, it's like a monster, the same idea and I got an original and a zero sugar one. So then we got this, which is a Shirisha slaw and it is a mix of crunchy vegetables in a spicy mayonnaise, just something different. We got a dip selection, which is guacamole, that one, and hummus. We also got this mini roulette, and it's cream cheese with pineapple and almonds. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so nice. Especially if you eat that one with um, like a salted cracker, like a Ritz. It's very, very nice. Takes the sweetness away, well not away, but it neutralizes it down a bit. Then we got some salsa dip. It's a nice chunky one. Then we got Mr. O'Connor, his split pots. They're the banana chocolate flakes and the vanilla flavor cocoa balls. Up here we have the scare mix, which I presume is like the star mix just because it's Halloween. They call it the scare mix. Oops. Then we have a chocolate milk. This was a three pack. It is now a one pack. And we got a three pack of the strawberry milk. And some spreadable butter. I like that butter. Okay, so then moving down here, that is the Mature Red Irish Cheddar, and that's a me, uh, Strength 3. Some Brioche Buns, they're meant to be hot, hot dog buns. We don't eat hot dogs, we, um, we use the sausages and we put our sausages in them. Then over here we have some Sweet Snack Bite Peppers. Hayley and myself love snacking on them they're just so handy to pick up and you can just chew on them they're nice we got a pack of cheesy singles then we got some brennan's pork onion and tomato roll that's actually really nice i like that i haven't i haven't had it much but it's it's nice remember that as a child and my favorite corned beef 
corned beef slices. And that's a nice one. There isn't much fat in the in the meat. We got a six pack of Golden Wonder O rings, salt and vinegar flavour. A six pack of O rings, cheese and onion. I got a twin pack of the crumbed Irish ham. We got Aldi's own brand uh, crisps. So it's six onion rings, six cheesy puffs, and chick six sticks, which are salt and vinegar. <laughs> then here we got a, a bag of apples. They actually look really tasty. They're like a cross between a red and a green. I got Hayley some sushi. She loves sushi. We got Carl a spicy southern fried chicken sub roll with cheese. We got two packets of the savoury crackers lightly salted. These are very like the Ritz crackers. Very, very like them. So I got two packs of them. I got two packs of the Choco Rice. Again, Cocoa Pops. And we got two packs of the Multigrain Hoops, which is the same as Cheerios. Or very similar to Cheerios. So then I decided to stock up on some meat. Well, obviously I needed to stock up on meat from dinner for a month. So we got some unsmoked medium ham fillet, again, for the slow cooker. We got the new leaner option beef mince. With cooked red lentils. I did not see that. Do you see that? I'm new leaner option. Okay. I cannot see any lentils. In there, high in protein, yeah. No joking, there's only like it's lentils. Well, that would be interesting. So, I got two packs of that. Okay, we got some Irish southern fried chicken fillets, just six in that pack. I got some. Irish diced chicken fillets. They're 550 grams and they're only, what's it say there, 349? I got two packs of them. I got two packs of the pork belly stripes. Love that, especially if you do it in the slow cooker. All that fat and stuff just breaks down. And it's just, yeah, it's just gorgeous. I got two packs of the microwavable baby potatoes. I got four breaded uh, fish fillets. I got one bag of Irish baby potatoes, one kg. So then, non householdy food is floor wash, sink and drain unblocker. A six packs of tissues, some feminine products, and then because it is getting to Halloween, we got Haribo Share the Fun. That's a little party size bag mix share thing. And down the bottom, we have got the Barrett there. Ooh. Dip dabs, dolly mix, blackjacks fruit salads, all that in there. And then I got myself a word search. I like word searches. And I got myself, oh, let me pull this down here. This, which is the Shih Tzu massage pillow with soothing heat. So yeah, that'd be nice, give that a go. My lower back does be killing me. So that is what I got from Aldi. Now there's big gaps because I'm after moving stuff around. But that's all the stuff I got in Aldi. So I will be back in a second and show you what I got from 
Max and Spencer's next. Okay guys, so this is a quick little one I went, got in Max and Spencer's and I only went in to try the cut candy floss grapes. So I picked them up, they were reduced down to 240, 241. So I picked them up and then beside them they had tutti fruity grapes. Now I have to say these taste amazing. They are just not grapes, they're just gorgeous. So we're going to freeze them because apparently if you freeze them, the flavour comes through. Again, I'll try and put the prices up on the screen, but most of this was reduced. So then while I was there, because I'd done such a big shop and it was all out of my counter, I didn't want to have to come in and start cooking dinner, so I bought some dinners. So I bought this for someone's tea. It's a ham and far farmhouse cheddar cheese toasty. And that was reduced down to 140. I got a bangers and mash. I think this is probably be Haley's, and that was reduced down to 39 cent. I got a vegetable selection that serves two, and that was reduced down to 134. I got the cottage pie meal, which I think just looks look gorgeous, and that was reduced down to 186. I got Carl a spaghetti bolognese because that's just what he eats. We got a salted caramel cheesecake and that was reduced down to from 8 euro down to 285 and it looks gorgeous. And then the final thing I got at Marks and Spencer's was an apple, celery and walnut. Um, I don't know, salad. There's a salad dressing in it. I think it's going to be like a Wardoff salad. I love Wardoff salad. So I got that for my lunch tomorrow. I'm going to have that. So that is what I got from Marks and Spencer's. Oh, I nearly forgot. My flowers, of course, the most important thing. I do get these in Aldi's. But oh my God, look at those colours. And these lilies are purple. And I'd say when they open, they are going to be gorgeous. Right, I will go and I will show you the... Tesco order next. Okay guys, this is my delivery of Tesco and this was a delivered order. Thanks be to God, I meant I didn't have to log it too far. So here I got 48 bottles of water. 224 packs. Again, I got some of the still strawberry water. We had some lemon and lime left over and the kids just said, no, just get the strawberry. So I got eight of them. I got eight uh, Coca-Cola Zero. They were on special. Anything I bought in Tesco was on special, bar the water and the crackers. Um, everything else was on a special offer. So these were two for four. So then I bought eight Pepsi. Again, they were two for four. I bought two of my coffee and these were reduced from 7 99 to 5 euro so I bought two of them. I bought the Nutella and I think that was 4 85 and that's for 1 kg of Nutella but the 750 gram of Nutella was only 20 cent cheaper so that must have been on a reduced I'm not sure. So I got some Tesco crackers. Now I did get some Aldi's own crackers as well, so I actually forgot I'd ordered these in Tesco's order. So we've done, but they'll get eaten. So there's no problem with that. The Andrex 16 rolls family pack, they were two for, I think it was two for 11, but I'll put up all the prices on the screen. But they had to substitute one of them, but they held the price the same, so makes no difference. And then the mini rolls, which my kids love were reduced down to half price. So I got two packs of them. And then I got some of the Regina Extra Large Kitchen Towels. So that's what I got from Tesco. Okay guys, so it's the next day because there's only so much shopping you can do in a day without losing the will to live. So this is my little shop. So what I got in little was I got some 
stone baked thin pineapple, ham and pineapple, and there's two in that box there. We got some rocket spinach and cress salad. Down here we got some beechwood smoked salmon. Haley likes that when we have a pasta dish, she likes to mix that through her pasta. We got some thick cut bacon and this is honey cured Irish rashers and the other one is maple cured. So I got two packs of them. I got a show me here. I got a stewing beef stewing beef steak and that's three percent fat and that is six hundred grams. I got an sorry I got an easy garlic for the fridge that's so handy back here we got a double pepperoni pizza because Carl said one of his friends was coming over this weekend so we got that I got some more brioche buns because um, yeah the dates on them last for forever well into November not forever but um, they're always handy to have I got myself for my lunch I got some carrot and coriander soup I got three donuts because God love the poor kids they've been here and the food has been laid out on the counter and all they've been told is don't eat it. I also got myself for lunches during the, the month some wholesome vegetable soup. I got two packets of sushi. I got some mini celery sticks. I got some jumbo sausages. This one is Cumberland pork sausages. And this is honey and mustard pork sausages. I also got a jar of sweet and sour sauce. And a jar of the chicken, chicken, not chicken, of the tikka masala cooking sauce. I got some of these snack cucumbers. My kids love these, they're just handy. And they'll snack them in. I got two packets of the Irish Mature Red Cheddar Slices, so you can see they're a good thick pack, but the date in them is not till the December, so that's fine. I got some all butter cheese twists, again we got some mini mixed peppers, Hayley actually wants to try these to stuff them. Some of them with the uh, cream cheese and some of them with the pineapple and almond cream cheese. So that would be interesting. I got some of these lightly salted tortilla snacks. This is for a meal. This is actually to go with some leftovers that I know I'm going to have because I bought mince that was too big. The pack was too big and it would do two dinners. So obviously instead of having spaghetti bolognese two days in a row, we're going to have spaghetti bolognese one day and then... The mints over these or dipped where they can dip these into the sauce that's a, one meal Haley wants to try these the sour cream and Mexican lime tortilla chips and I got a big bag of pasta so that's it that's what I got from that's what I got from little hi guys so there you have it that's my little challenge to myself to make this food shop um, last four weeks and only top up by what's left spare now in my budget. I'm not doing these extreme budget challenges, anything like that. This is just purely for me. I just, because I hate, I absolutely hate food shopping. So this is my little challenge to me to see if I can do it. And if I can just shop this big shop once a month Yes, I'm tired. Yes, I'm worn out from doing it. But if I only have to do it once, it's worth it. And then I can just pop up to the local shop and grab bread, apples, whatever sort of fresh stuff we need. So I'll give you the breakdown of what it cost. So the Aldi shop came to €230.03. The Marks and Spencer shop came to €27.28. The Tesco shop came to €120.50 
and the little shop came to 53 euro and 73 cent. I have it written out on my piece of paper. So all together the shop came, all the shops together came to 431 euro 54 cent. Now my budget is 560 for four weeks. It's 130 a week. So that leaves me with 22 euro and 11 cent per week for the next four weeks just to top up on bread and um, what else have I been eating? Bananas, like fruit and stuff like that. So I shouldn't need a whole lot and I'm hoping I can do it. So what I might try and do is show you what I cook each night just for dinner, just to do like sort of at the end of the week, just show you all the dinners we've had. Um, so you know we're not cheating. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, so I hope you yes, um, enjoy this. I'm so I'm actually looking forward to it. I know I'm exhausted from it, but I'm actually looking forward to doing it. It's sort of like in these times, it's just like something exciting in my life. Anyway, um, maybe in the comments you could let me know how much you spend on food shopping, because I think I spend quite little for the cost of living in Ireland, but I would be, I think the cost of living in Ireland is very high. Um, I would be comparing it to Spain where I live for a couple of years, but I think the cost of living and the cost of food and the cost of um, everyday sort of electricity, gas, everything like that is very high in Ireland. But then it could be me, I could be just spending my money all wrong. So let me know in the comments below what, uh, how much you spend on food and how many is in your family. Just for the hell of it, just to compare. And I will talk to you again soon. So take care of yourself and each other. Bye-bye.